tiny broom. Oh, oh, oh. Man, I just cooked. Oh my God. I just... Good morning, everybody. Back out here trying to find some fish. It's been a tough, tough year so far. Um, weather has just not been cooperating lately. That's why I haven't had very many videos coming out recently. I'll try to make a trip, and if I am able to make a trip, there, I don't catch anything. There's nothing really to see, so I end up not making a video. And there's been a couple other instances where I fished, but I didn't film. But it's just been a tough, uh, tough couple of months with this weather. So I'm going to hit up a river today, um, heading back to a spot that I've never done great at, but just trying to catch some fish today. Uh, the spot I wanted to go to, the gate was closed to it, so wasn't able to go where I really wanted to today. But I'm um, just hoping to catch some brim, um, maybe a few bass or something. So we'll see what happens. Um, hey, while you're here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Please help uh, support my channel. Uh, really trying to grow this and uh, hit that like button too if you're liking these videos and uh, hey I'd like to hear from you guys too. drop a comment in the comment section as well Just uh, let me know how I'm doing or if you have any questions on anything and thank you guys for watching as usual and stay tuned for the action All right, so our bait today is gonna be uh, worms. It's all I was able to come up with um, like I said a while back the tackle shop that I used to go to to get some crickets and stuff closed down back before Christmas so it's really hard for me to get fresh um, fresh water baits now but yeah, I do have a couple places I can go at least get some worms um, I actually got a couple of huge grasshoppers that I caught yesterday that I'm gonna try to throw out there too later today and see what I can find but these worms will work so I got a lot of them too just to try to weed through a lot of the little um, brim as well so let's see what we can do with them. All right, there goes our first little bite. Probably already have something on. See if it's moving, it's probably on. Yep, little tiny broom. But, first one I've caught in a long time, so it's a start. All right, so I just had a really good bite over here in this spot, but I sh short struck it, so I'll try to get back over here and see if I can get it again. I mean, it instantly took the cork down whenever it hit. Ah! Dang it. Whatever it is, it's definitely ravenous, but not getting the hook in its mouth. I got plenty of worms. Got three packs of these worms, and there's supposed to be approximately 30 in each one. So I got about 90 worms plus the couple of uh, grasshoppers I have. So I should have plenty of bait for the day. Dang it. Might have to go in and throw one of the grasshoppers right here. Must be just a bunch of little ones pecking at it and not big enough to get the hook in their mouth. Try to choke up on it a little bit where they don't just suck it off. <clears throat> all right, so what I'm doing is got all this uh, cover and brush laid down in the water. So I'm just going along, casting it out, letting it sit for a second. If I don't get any hits, keep on moving. Like trying to cover a bunch of ground, try to find some good ones. So I don't need to try to hang in one spot too terribly long, unless I do get some good hits.
Got some little ones hitting right against that log, trying to keep it there and see if a bigger one may come up and hit it. And they stripped me, a bunch of little ones pecking at it. I just caught a little green sunfish, not even realizing I was hooked up. I just cast it out and pulled it in trying to get a better position and he came up and hit it. But now I can't get another one in this spot. But he was only about that big, wasn't huge. Tough little bite so far this morning. River is up just a touch, but it's definitely fishable. Just still trying to figure this all out. There's a little bite. Go. That's the biggest of the day now. This little broom. Need one about a few twice that size would be nice. Try not to get stabbed by the fins. All right, we're going in a positive direction now. I yeah, see some logs and stuff in the water right here, some lay down. So it's actually a good little spot here. If I find the one the right size. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Actually, that looks like a bass. Exactly what it is. Little bass. Well, you got another species now. Been a while since I've caught a bass, so. Yeah, just a little tiny piece of uh, worm that was on that hook. Right, come on. Luckily he didn't swallow this little hook. But, alright, biggest fish of the day. Right there. Decent little large mouth. Just saw something swimming out here in the middle. It's head out of the water. Didn't look like it was an alligator. I haven't really seen alligators out here. I dove down. I'm trying to see if it'll pop up again. See if I can figure out what the heck that was. It popped up on the other side, I believe. Is that? Say it's up under there. I think it's a beaver. So this is coming a common occurrence for me now. I guess is to see beavers. Hopefully y'all can see them. I'll try to zoom in the video. Just swimming away right there, up under those trees. Dove down. So hopefully I can get some good video of this one. Well, he didn't disappear, don't me. Oh, wait, I think he's. Hey, comment below if you guys think you know what it is, but I'm pretty sure that was a beaver. Never slapped its tail, but I've been seeing a few here lately now, so. I don't know if we have Nutra in this area, but. I think I just missed it again, because some ripples right here.
Oh, there he goes. Yep, we're still on him. I'm pretty sure that's not an otter. I know we do have otters in this area too, but say judging by the size and the way it's swimming, I'm gonna assume that that is probably a beaver. There's a lot of limbs and stuff out over this water, so I may lose them in here. Just keep an eye out, see if he pops up one more time. He just went into that log over there, I think, because I saw some branches move. Just love to get a good shot of them. All right, another little broom. Kind of getting a little bit bigger on them, but now I've realized I've uh, left my um, split shot at home, and I actually broke off on a snag a few minutes ago. So it's going to be a little bit harder to fish for them now because the bait is going to slowly fall down. In, in this current, I could really use that split shot, but we're just gonna have to make the best of it. And that one took my hook. All right, well that one actually had the hook a little bit too deep, and I for, also forgot my forceps, so um, ended up just breaking the hook off in them. Um, but I actually had a thought to have these super tiny, light jig heads, so. Don't have split shot. We're gonna make do with what I have. I'm gonna see if this will actually work. Um, never tried this with the fly rod set up, but because I normally like keeping the uh, split shot a little bit above the hook as opposed to the way this jig head has it set up. But like I said, in desperate times, just gonna try whatever I can try to make do. And I definitely need a little weight to get it down in some of this current. Dang, that didn't take long at all. Feels like a nice brim too. Well, I guess that's gonna work. Ooh, that's a nice, uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful green, uh, green sunfish. And not quite big enough to eat, but that is getting more towards the size of what we need. Absolutely beautiful fish. So I guess that is gonna work. A little bit bigger hook too, so maybe I can weed through some of these smaller ones now and Try to get some bigger fish. All right, well, here's one of the grasshoppers that I found. Like I said, they're huge. Um, this one actually died last night. I don't know if they fought in the bucket or whatever, and this one died, but this one was easier to get to right now in the little cups. So I'm gonna toss it out there and see what we'll eat it. Hopefully we can get a nice big brim on this. Had some nice hits right in this little spot, so I'm gonna give it a shot. All right, I got something on that grasshopper. It's definitely checking it out. Just hoping I don't get snagged up in here. Goes, come on. Something just swallow it. it. Definitely got something pecking at it. Just waiting for that float to just absolutely disappear. There must be just a bunch of little tiny ones. Put it over here. It's got a nice room lay down here with a bunch of structure, so hoping I can find something good in here with this grasshopper. Come on. Dang it, pecked off somehow. It's crazy. 
I uh, see it floating right there. Oh well. See if I can't use this live one to get something good. Just trying to knock this sucker out for a second because he's gonna go flying if I don't. These things are mean. I can grab his back legs. Go. Cause they do have some pretty large mandibles that don't want to get bit by this sucker. I figure this is a good lay down to try to fish these uh, grasshoppers on. See if him moving around down there now, give him a little action, we'll get a big one to bite. All right, I had something hit the grasshopper right here, so it did get the hook in its mouth. Let's try to see if I can uh, replicate it again and actually catch it this time. Be nice to catch a big old brim on this. I guess it's not gonna hit now. Well, the grasshopper got stripped off, so it's really hoping to get something nice on both of them, but it is what it is. Go back to using worms now and see what we can come up with. Get out of this little nook here. Tell you these uh, assault hand paddles really come in useful situations like this. There is a huge snake sitting right on top of that log right there. Big snake. Ho, ho, ho. Man, I just cooked. Oh my god, I just caught a redfish all the way up here. I was not expecting to catch a redfish all the way up in this river. Man, ah, oh, he came off. He's jumping like a bass. At least I got that on video. I was throwing a overcast lures uh, thresher tail and uh saw a nice little swirl over here thinking of bass i was not expecting uh redfish all right i got some storms picking up around me but we're gonna stick it out for a little while getting some ah kept hitting it but just never get the hook in its mouth caught quite a few brim today just all real small no big ones I was hoping to take home a mess of them, but well, at least I'm having a successful day as far as my GoPro battery. My GoPro battery died on me in the middle of whatever I was talking about then, but I was just saying how it's been a decent day. We've got these storms moving in, but I'm going to fish through it. If it starts lightning pretty close, I'll uh, duck under in uh, some shelter somewhere. But I've uh, been getting a couple hits right here. Nothing major. Can't seem to get the hook in their mouth, but... So we're gonna keep trying. Lost quite a bit of tackle day two to snags. That's what happens whenever you fish around a bunch of trees and submerged uh, structure. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a nice one. Well, it doesn't get me hung up in there. Finally caught a keeper. All right, get a few more like that and we'll be good. Nice, nice. 
Knew there had to be some keepers in there somewhere. That's absolutely beautiful right there. Nice uh, bluegill. Cast back over there and see what else I can find in that hole. Alright, so I'm switching up to a slipper bobber right here. I'm still casting out the other one too. I just think these fish are a little bit deeper. It's showing about eight foot here. I keep having something hit this other cork too, so she can't get the hook in it. Technical issues. Well, dang it. Got the bait stolen, didn't even know it. Seeing if maybe get this bait down deeper will make a difference. that in the rod holder that's why I like those stealths I can set that in there like that not worry about it going anywhere I'll deal with this of course while I'm trying to deal with that I'm getting hit I'm all tangled up it's about par for the course for me today a lot of tangles today fly line out of the way. I'll get this one back out of here. Put this fly line away for right now. Get that out of the way now. Might have to actually put a fresh worm on this. Be got jacked, so that's why. Oh man. Still nice and peaceful just being out here on the river. At least I'm catching some fish, even if it's not the size I quite want just yet, other than that one. Actually gonna have to adjust the stopper. I can see it not quite going all the way through, which means that it's hitting the bottom, not allowing it to uh, float to indicate any bites. Take it about six inches down. Go. That should give me about six or seven foot. That way I can actually see whenever they bite. Just like that. Yeah. They're hitting it hard. Just can't get it to get the hook in his mouth. It's only it, it's the only issue with the slipper bobber. They're gonna take it down and it's harder for me to set the hook on them when they're with the fly. Just gonna have to make sure that they uh that they fully eat it. Set it. Yeah, just little ones. Look at that. Another little, uh, super small green sunfish. 
Those are by far one of my favorites to catch out here just because those colors on them, that iridescence on them is so pretty. Definitely a lot of fish in this spot. You can see them moving around, but I'm just waiting on that bobber to just go all the way under, indicating a good fish being on just like that. If they didn't take the hook. Cast over here with this and see if we can find it on this side. Not quite as deep. Not seeing any indications of it getting hit though. Alright, that's fine. We know there's fish over on this side. Might have to throw another worm on there. There's only a little piece left on there. Let's go ahead and do that. Just make sure we got fresh bait on there. Yeah. That's not too small of a piece, but they're just not hitting it. We'll just add to it. I'll put this little guy on here. need a big one to one bite it all right so it's another fish biting right here I'm gonna try something I've been wanting to try so here I got some fish bites here that I've cut kind of look I've got some smaller pieces kind of cut them little strips to look like worms I've heard of people using these up north having good luck with them on panfish since I know I'm getting good hits right here I'll try a little experiment and see if this can catch me a fish It'll be nice to, uh, if it does work, so I know I can use it as a backup if I don't have worms or if I run out. And this should be a lot harder than regular worms, so hopefully it'll stay on there for long enough to get a, uh, or stay there to where I can get a big bite. So it's getting hit, so that's a good sign. have a hard time trying to set the hook on them with a slipper bobber for some reason well it was getting hits on it and then they stopped but it just nothing would quite take it so not quite as effective as worms at least not right now I've been throwing this thresher tail again in these uh, lilies and had a couple of blow ups but nothing to actually nail it and take it. So I've just got a rigged weedless with a um, worm hook so no, no weight other than the hook. Just kind of dragging it over, twitching it every now and then, so changing up the retrieve, trying to make something happen. Oh, dang, how did he miss that? That was a nice blow up. Try casting over there again, see if she'll come back. That was an awesome blow up. Weather keeps holding off just away from me. Well, it's taking it long enough, but the rain's finally started and I've only got, I think like one more worm left. I've just been sitting in this spot, just letting them eat, see what I can catch, but pretty much done for the day. Only got that one keeper, so better than nothing. Caught a bunch of brim, just not of good size. 
and that redfish and that bass so all in all not a bad day to be out here on the water can't complain at all <clears throat> better success than I've had in some past trips Alright, time to put the last worm on, see if we can actually get one last fish of something. It's small, but it'll catch something. If I can even get it on the hook. Double check through there. Yep, that is the last one. Clean me off without even a catch, but like I said, I've, I've had fun today. Still trying to figure out all this freshwater stuff, but as long as I'm catching, I don't care right now. All right, everybody, it's going to wrap it up for today's video. I got a decent little pedal back to get to the uh, truck. So I'm about to get that started and end the video off here. Um, thank you guys for watching. Hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, please, please do it. If you've made it this far in the video, I appreciate you watching this far. Drop me some comments. Drop me some likes. I sure would appreciate it. And thank you guys for watching once again. You have a great day.